is patriarchy even a thing right now because so many women are rising so independently you get what i'm trying to say and they're walking in that and they want that and they're choosing that right so is there a level of dismantle of the patriarchy that's happening right now or is it like i don't know like i'm still trying to understand well, woman, what's going think, on these were questions like as a woman do you think patriarchy is still a thing i don't know like because i feel like like i, I had a conversation with alex i was saying you know like a lot of times like we are like you're a lot of people are single doing their thing for a while before they get with somebody and it's like how do you know when to lay it down like, when you lay down into patriarchy, like, when it's like, okay, I've been leading my whole life this whole time, and like, yeah, okay, been doing this for 10 to 15 years, but, um, yeah, sure, we're together now, so here you go, you can lead. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so I don't really know, because I also feel like it's not a split, but it's kind of like, you know, more, because there is these more conversations of, like, the 50-50, and, like, people are, you know, like, let's do what works, and there are people who are jointly leading like you know what i'm saying like you know we're, you're doing this i'm doing this and it's not necessarily like the pyramid we discussed where the men is providing it's the men and the women providing and they're both making decisions and I, and it, i'm still trying to decide you know that may work you know like not if that's okay or are we shying away from the bible or is that okay like you know what i'm trying to say if that works for your household you tell people like if that works for y'all this whole right but is this really okay because we're trying to we're trying to you know not we but we you know what i'm saying and i don't know about other people are trying to live by the bible so if the bible mm -hmm. says this then isn't it supposed to be this but is this okay because people feel okay with that so i'm trying to still decide like not decide it's not even a deciding factor i know what i want you know want to do because i'm trying to live in God's truth, you know what I mean? And I'm trying to do it by the word. So if this is what the word says, I'm okay with that because that's what I'm trying to follow in my life. That's Sade, right? But I'm not also trying to be telling nobody that this this is the only way because that may work for them. You get what I'm trying to say? But is that patriarchy, though? You right, get what so I'm trying to say? Think, is, that, is that a level of patriarchy I think, at that uh, point? I think, first of all, it's great that you had those feelings, right? But like, if you feel that way, we understand this is our show. Yeah, right, no, this is just us con conversation before we go into the next one. It's going to be so many other people who feel, feel that way, yeah. right? If we're going too fast, if we're powering them with something. So you don't have to, you could have said that sooner. But hold up. I was still gathering it, honestly. It's fine, it's I was fine, trying to I'm just figure out you, if I could follow it's it. It's fine, listen to me. I'm just letting you know that that's okay to do, babe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's great that you had that thought because it's probably so many women who feel the same exact way. Yeah. It's probably a lot of people in general, yeah. right? The answer to go to your the response here, what you were saying, I think, again, that's another man thing, not man as in man, but man as in flesh, human thing, that we look at the pyramid and we think we look at provide and we think money. I don't think that it was intended for that. And again, I'm still learning as well, right? I don't think it necessarily has to be provide for money because we can provide for the household together but I still provide for my family, right? I still, because it says, love you as I love myself. But for, for that, like, it's talking about basically going to the source to get the, the wisdom and the knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. That could be a, a, a way of providing, right? And uh, it, it don't have to be money. I feel like we make these things more complicated. So then that's when things get lost in translation and men think that I'm supposed to do this, you can't do that. And it's, eh, we are looking at it all wrong, in my opinion. So I can understand how it can be like, bro, like, I don't even know, like, what the hell? Like, is, is patriarchy But even, even that, like, I don't know. Because, like, okay, for example, I was telling you about, like, you know, I I be doing Bible study with, you know, my church sister. And, you know, I was telling her, like, I appreciate talking to her because I have a hard time understanding how to pray sometimes. Because, and I was like, I've never told nobody that because I, like, I'm, I've always been, like, the prayer friend. People are always like, oh, you know, you get shot at a prayer. I was like, but sometimes I want to make sure I'm praying for the right things, right? Mm. And um, I was like, or how, to, like, like you know, to make sure, like, if, if my, literally I said to her, I said, I don't know if I'm supposed to be just thanking God continuously or asking for things I need. I said, but sometimes I'm not very specific. I just say God provide, you know what I mean? Because I'm not very sp specific because I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, I need a car and um also i need more clothes or you know what i mean or also so like that's just to be funny about acts, it but right, right. but okay. they say acts right so and i i literally talked to uh, my your sister and shout out to her because she's so awesome but she was just like um so how you know you definitely say you know want to be grateful and you know you when you go to somebody who's providing for you you, you definitely want to go with a grateful you know mindset and thank them for what they've already have done right like as if you would do anybody that you care about you know what i mean but she was like you know at the end of the day like 
you cannot focus on God if you're focusing on trying to get some money. She was like, so... Mm. She was like, you do, you are, it is okay to tell God, like, God knows what you need. Say, like, hey, I'm financially struggling. God, make me comfortable so that I don't lose my focus on you because I'm distracted trying to get money. So please make me comfortable, right? And the reason why I say that, I, I don't know because, I don't know because, and they teach you in the Bible, God does want you to have abundance and God does want you to have nice things. And when when they went and took the, sleeve, the slaves from Egypt and, Egypt and they're walking to Canaan, they were giving material things, gold, silver, things they had, right? So if God wants you to have material things... Wait, they was giving that stuff a way to be able to... To make a tabernacle. Yeah. Right. It so wasn't the, like... But they insane. have it, my oh, point yeah, is. So yeah. how are but, you getting it? You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I think, my point, like, this is my point, right? I'm not saying that he is saying provide, but I, I like, just provide monetary or not. And that's my point. I don't know. But I think... I even, don't know. And so a, maybe that's... I don't know if it were blindly saying, like... Not we, but like people blindly think men are supposed to be providing money, or if men are supposed to be could, providing so money. We could, we I could, don't understand. We could we could do a study on this too, because I'm not sure either. But I would assume that. In and that I'm not saying that's the no, only thing, of I know, course. But I'm, I would assume in that example that you use, they were saying that they were giving away their riches because no, I know that. Listen, I agree with you. But no, from the example, it sounded like you were saying that they had gold, they had silver. No, I'm saying even if they gave it away to do something with they it, had they had it. it. But Listen That's my to point. what I'm saying. So where are they getting it from? Right. right. Listen, but I'm saying I think the example was to say that this don't matter. The, the tabernacle matters. So to my I point. Agree. Right, babe. So I think, what I'm saying I think to my point. No, our, I'm saying like, to my point. I think to provide, it's to provide a lifestyle of God, right? That's what you're saying you mm. think is we should have gold and stuff. No, is, no, this is what I'm trying to say. It's not that I'm saying we should have gold and stuff. I'm saying that God does want you to have the abundance of things in general. That's why even when... But but God provides it, right? But if the man is under God and he's saying provide the same way, I'm saying I don't know if the man, when in the Bible, if it's saying providing, if it really is the things of the necessity of the home. Just like God provides you all your things. Paul, is it Paul? No, it's Solomon. Solomon was the richest man in the Bible. All he asked God for wisdom, but God provided him the but richest that's, lifestyle. That's another example of but, what I'm saying. But, I think if no, we provide... Not a great conversation. This, I think, but that's, I'm, I'm thinking you're losing what I'm saying, though. What I'm saying is I'm not saying that it's to be provided the the will and the strength through God. I, I'm saying that at a point, these things are accessible, mm -hmm. right? They're being provided by God. Right. Right. You get what I'm trying to say? So God is our provider. Or the devil. God, I'm... I'm speaking to God because mm -hmm. I, I I don't get my you know I'm I don't get my stuff from the devil you know I'm I'm speaking for God mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so they're being provided by in general so it's not that you're not supposed to have it you get what I'm trying to say or you're not supposed to walk in it or to be a good thing you know what I'm saying I feel like when we talk about society and they say like men are provided I don't even think that's supposed to be a negative connotation I think it's okay for men to provide in that way so that the house can sustain in that way. You get what I'm trying to say? I'm not saying they have to be the only solely provider, but when you say, like, I don't think God intended it for, for it to be that way, I'm saying, how do we know that? I don't now, know I that to saying, be true. I don't think... Or, or not I don't true, think the is money, what I'm trying to say. I, don't, I think we, again, man, human, make it about money when it's really about the source. That's just my opinion. Again, I don't, I'm just... I, for, think, I don't know. I, I, and so when, you, when you're when you saying, like, we supposed to have riches, yeah, of I'm, course... I'm not saying we're supposed to have riches than that. That's not my point, though. You get what I'm trying to say? Because when you say when you when you're repeating it back, I feel like you're saying like I'm saying like we're supposed. That my point is that we all are supposed to walk in an abundance, and there's a provider in general. So if when we are looking at the pyramid, if God is providing to the man to provide for his family, then that is okay to be a part of that cycle. If it was, that's what I'm trying to say. You say what? I have a question, because y'all just just made me think of something like, you know, how Tyler Perry just had a moment of, like, controversy because he was talking about women being a breadwinner and everything. More women are becoming breadwinners, right? right? Mm -hmm. So we talk about patriarchy in the standpoint of providing. If in a standpoint of a woman being financially the breadwinner and she's the one that is providing for the family, does that deter from a patriarchal st structure, in a sense? And that's because, my question. That was my question. But that's essentially. my point, though. I, I, like that. But that's that's I, that's why I say I think I'm understanding what you're saying because that's my point. You said that's your question. Yes, I feel like the financial part has nothing to do with being okay. a provider. But that's what I'm saying. But 
the, but I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm but, getting lost in the conversation. But, I'm being honest, and, and I don't on know. Earth, I don't though, know. But on Earth, we make it, so on Earth, right, because it makes sense. Again, I don't, this is my opinion, guys. Again, let me preface that. On Earth, we make it about that because that's how we survive on Earth. Mm -hmm. But we just talked about this earlier. It's deeper. It's, it's not about just being on Earth that we're having this conversation about biblically, right? We make it about the things that don't matter. The worldly things really don't matter. As we see in the Bible, we really just track this is a prison, right? We see this in the Bible. So again, I'm still studying. We're both still studying. But when I see that, I think we make it more complicated. Humans make it more complicated than what it is. When we hear provide, we hear money. We hear finances because on earth, that's the only way you can provide is to pay bills so we can get by. So what, so you said what would be the other level of providing of what would it be a what? That's what I'm still seeking. But I think it's mm. deeper than finances. I think when it when it comes to that pyramid, we make it about money. I think it's about God and and maybe providing a, a home or a church or for love. your family. Love. It could be love, right? So then why... So then my question is, if it is that... Why doesn't say that? Then why for women is nurture, comfort, and teach? Because to me, that's what we would be comforting and nurturing and teaching. Nurturing is out of love. Me, teaching is... T th me, these are teachings. Let me paint a picture. Perfect example. Hold on. Go ahead. My point is, if you were supposed to be just doing... Not, not, I'm not saying like that. So if if that was your, call, your, your calling as well, why aren't you the nurturer? Okay, I'm going to tell you why. I'm glad we could have this conversation because we are learning and we, like, y'all seeing our journey right now, right? It's so dope. I'm going to tell you why. I introduced you to the church right now, right? I just want to make sure we're on the same page. You introduced me to this church, but you never introduced me to, to church. Cool, you right. get what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah. No, but I think that matters, though. Cool, you know baby. what I mean? Go Listen, ahead, go ahead. I introduced you to this church, right? This church, yes. You now probably have been to more services than me. When we pray, I even said this the other day, you talk about those things probably more than I do. Okay. Right? I provided that. Okay. You're nurturing that relationship. Now, when it's time okay. to pray, you reminded me. You're you're okay. you're nurturing that relationship that I have with God. You're nurturing me in a matricul in, in my matriculation, my matriculation in Christianity. Okay. I introduced that to you. I opened the door, mm -hmm. but you're really, like, that's why it is a team thing. But there's nothing wrong with saying, I provided this because nurturing is just as powerful. It's just as powerful. No, I agree. I agree with that statement. I, all I'm saying is, I just don't, I don't know. I Like I said, like, I, I don't know. I have to, I, I, I guess for me, I think this conversation is just like a little, like, whirlwind for me because I, I just think maybe I should have did more just like uh, background, like thoughts on it, because like all the like when we're going into this, like that I can't say like I, like that with the statement you just said, I agree. However, like when when we take away, no, I don't agree that the men's not supposed to provide if that's what it's also provide. I don't think that's the only thing that's supposed to be provided, but I just don't think that's it, it's off the table either. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? And I think that. People are trying to do that, though, as well. The same way you feel like people are making it about money. I don't think that it's only about money. However, I do think, like, it comes, yeah, along, it with comes along with providing. That's just my personal opinion. You know what I mean? So that's why I said, I mean, I might, like, I have to do more research and digging on that. And I'm not saying it has to be that way. And I'm not saying women aren't supposed to contribute at all. Or even they're not supposed to go 50-50. Like I said, I'm big on do what works for your house. However... When it comes to the pyramid of what we were looking at, of what God says, I still think there's a level of it that still requires a lot of things that men today are getting away from in general. That's what I'm saying. So in a perfect world, mm -hmm. just, just to wrap it up, put a bow on it, what does that look like from a woman's standpoint? What is your take on it? And then I want you to say what your standpoint is. In a perfect world, a dynamic of the relationship Leading as a unit, as mm -hmm. a team, whether it's just what that idea looks like to you. We'll start with you, Shade, and then Jay. Um, I, I think, I think, whatever the need is, whoever can fill it should fill it, and that's just how I feel. Um, and because obviously, you know, there's many needs. I do agree with you know the pyramid that God made. 
However, I am in agreement with Jay in terms of it doesn't mean that another side can't contribute or be or do something. And I feel like there's many needs in a household. And I feel like whoever's in the position that God placed in the position to fill it should be able to, should fill it. And I think, I don't know, I just think that's fair. I think um, kind of like sports, I think is uh, kind of like work. I think as the man I am to get my answers from God and then give them to my wife, right? That's what I think. I think in any capacity, if it's money, if it's wisdom, if it's knowledge, whatever, right? As long as I'm getting it from God, right, then I, I'm sure I'm getting it from the right place, right? And if less, if it's money, it's money, right? If, if, if it's making decisions, it's making decisions. But like I said earlier, along with that, I am to be communicating with my wife so we are on one accord. I think in a perfect world, that's what it looks like, right? In a perfect world, um, I know what she cares about even if I don't care about it in a perfect world, right? Even if it's not a big deal, deal to me, I know that this is a something for my wife and I know she would want to participate in this or she would like to know about this in a perfect world, right? I think also in a perfect world that we walk side by side in at home, right? But in the world, I walk in front to take on whatever comes to protect the family, right? It's not to walk in front because I'm better or I got the most flashy things on. It's to walk in front to take on just like I just like I walk on the life left side of the road, right? Because if any any harm or danger come your way, I'm here to take that on. So you can let the family live forever, right? That's just what I would think in a pretty world. So I'm working as di diligently and hard as possible to get to that, even though we will never be perfect, right? So I think that's just what I would think. 